Hey people, here with this cool little Lockwood padlock. So let me turn this documentary off. It's a 30 millimeter padlock, as you, well, probably hard to get an idea of scale. But part of the reason I think it's cool is because of this. If you can, if you can see that, it says C of A, that's the uh, Commonwealth of Australia. And at the bottom it says electoral. So what this means is that at one point in this lock's life, its responsibility was to lock up the ballot boxes during voting time some time ago, which I think is very cool. Um, here is the key for this lock. It's only a four pin lock, not a bad bidding. nice old brass construction. It's got fairly decent pressure on the shackle. Takes a little bit of effort to push it back in. There we go. Um, I thought this was an LW3, but as you can see it's very close to an LW3, but this is an LW3. It's actually a double oath three fire key but we can use it to test the keyway and as you can see no cooperation whatsoever so it might be a slight modification of the LW3 but um, in any case I should put that away and bring back the actual key so again cool little lock operates very nicely and I think it's a cool bit of history and um, while we have it on camera we're going to pick it and uh, see how it feels okay let's uh, grab this little tiny tension tool here Oops. place it in the lock and then grab one of these uh, SS dev hooks have a bit of a feel. There we go, a slight little click there. Pin 2, that was pin 4, got a little bit of click and a little bit of movement in the plug again. And come back to pin 1, if I can line up the tiny tip of this pick on it. Which is kind of easier said than done. I don't use these picks very often. I forgot to turn the documentary off in the background. And whoa, there we go, we're open. Just trying to do this in silence. But there we go. Peaked lovely little brass padlock. <laughs> Alright, peace and respect people. I'm gone.